Hi guys. Yes, yeah, it's just the old man back again. Slightly fragmented week. Nothing really major on the uh, machining front. Uh, I did add an, uh, another handle. Hang on a minute. I did add another handle to the uh, tapping collar for the uh, mill chuck. Uh, so I, I show a bit of that. I mean, it's all straightforward stuff. Drilling, tapping, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, over and above that, a very pleasant visit from Terry Gift. A uh, friend of mine from the channel, he's a viewer and a machinist. And uh, when he was here a month or so ago, he brought a very nice uh, indicator holder to go in a tool post, which you may have seen back then. Anyway, this time he brought another goodie, which I will describe later, um, uh, for cross drilling from the tool post to material in the chuck. You'll, you'll see what it is when I describe it. Very, very nice. And he called it a prototype. <laughs> I mean, come on. Well, everything's a prototype, I suppose. I said to him, a lot of what I do is um, probably a prototype because it can usually be improved upon. And uh, I got a drill doctor, which I'm still messing with. I'm not sure whether I like it enough. I think it's useful. I probably need to learn my way around it. And finally, a few other bits. Well, I don't know what the sequence will be on the video clips, but uh, Terry also brought me some uh, goodies. Uh, uh, line lock or lock line? God, I forget every time. The uh, flexible, flexible, um, what do you call them? Flexible jointed tubing, you know, for oil delivery, etc. I threw that in as well. Nice box of those. So there we are. That's it. That's all I'm going to bother you with to start up. This will be a bit, probably bit so nine if I remember correctly. Uh, we've got a gorgeous spell of weather. I'm hoping to get uh, more shop time, hopefully, and uh, see what comes next. All right, let's let's move on. Well, I had some. Uh, a couple of useful comments on the uh, drill chuck tapping collar. Um, two or three, well, I think a couple of people mentioned about the knurl, so it'll uh, tear your skin up. Why not put a knob on the end? Actually, this knurl is so fine and not very sharp, but it's enough to get a good grip when I put this in. So I'm going to leave that as it is. I think we'll cope with that. But the other thing, I think two or three mentions, put a handle 180 degrees over. And that's going to make much easier in use. I think that's a very good mod. I didn't think of it earlier, but it's a pretty obvious one. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, to that end, I'm just going to face off a little bit of 3 8 and then we'll put about a quarter inch of thread on it. Just get a lead in chamfer on here. And then uh, set up for threading, get the die out and get about uh, just over a quarter of an inch of thread probably. Last time threading the 3 8 I had some uh, slippage and I remembered that what I could and should have done was to, uh, this is a split die and by loosening the two uh, locating 
set screws and having backed off the split screw lets the die open up slightly which can very often make the cut a little bit easier and then take a second cut so I'm going to see you won't be able to see much of what's going on here I think it might have just been starting to slip I want a bit more thread than that so I'll get a bit more on I've readjusted the uh, split die and just take one more cut which hopefully won't slip that just started to slip at the end that should have cut an adequate thread there so we'll flip it round tidy up the other end just polishing this up a little bit it's a bit better like most of my material it's not clean right just uh, face that off uh. I was trying to keep focused on this, but having such a small point there, it's hard to uh, zero on it. Just face it. That'll work. So that uh, that should sort out the the handle nothing very elaborate bit of thread bit of clean up face off and chamfer right we're set up and uh, same as the other side almost Although this tapping drill isn't brilliant, it did quite well last time. I'm just not sure if the uh, chisel point's clean enough, but we'll try it. Well, that didn't do too bad. Just going to give a little touch with the three eighths at the top for a bit of lead. Just a touch. That should do. Just give it a little bit of chamfer. Hopefully, the last time I've got to do this <laughs> the hard way. <laughs> I've used the uh, chuck key to get a little bit of help so I've pretty much I think we're right through yeah we're pretty much right through there let's try and take it out There we go, that's uh, got a thread in there, now I've just got to deburr the inside and I think we can fit the handle. So there we are, real quick job, <coughs> I don't think I've got the second handle quite at 180 actually, I did it in a bit of a hurry. 
but as the old expression goes, a blind man would be all right, happy to see it. Let's just put that on. Let's get that in the hole first time. There we are. Yeah, second handle definitely helps. I only need the knurl on the uh, movable one. The other one can be smooth. But that means then you've got the ability to use both hands and you get a better leverage on it. Keeps things more balanced. So, there it is. That's another quickie. Well, I had a very pleasant visit today. The second time that uh, our viewer friend, Terry Gift, came over to visit. Quite a long way. Two and a half hour drive. Great to see him. We chewed a lot of fat. And he brought an item that he'd made for me, bearing in mind that on his last visit, which I mentioned at the time, he had made me this uh, holder for dar gauge, which is half, half thou measuring, which is very, very nice to use. But this time, He's made me something else. This cross drilling, cross drilling, <laughs> this cross drilling jig. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it's uh, set back in the tool holder a bit, but we've got plenty of space. I could actually accommodate a slightly longer drill and a bigger piece of work. All we do is put the power drill on. I've already drilled through actually, but you can see what I'm getting at. Very, very handy. Just a slightly closer look. I haven't checked the... Uh, the chuck appears pretty true actually. I'm not sure whether I relined that up properly, but... Uh, there we go. So this was set up. Um, a centre in the chuck, centre in the drill, get lined up for a machine centre. I'll show you a closer look of the uh, whole thing. So this is what he's made piece of half inch plate and then a main bushing area with a bearing each end and there's a small separator collar here and the locating collar here which uh, takes care of end float so we're running on both bearings 3 8 chuck two uh, cap screws here holding the barrel shall we call it super piece thank you Terry you know I was pleased with it but I'm telling you again absolutely brilliant one other <clears throat> little box of goodies that Terry brought apart from the cross drilling device which I've shown you a load of lock line stuff. Very, very useful. I think I will progressively convert all my various, uh, you know, um, oilers, misters, air, whatever, change over from the import ones to these. These are so much better altogether. Very, very useful. So thanks for those, Terry. 
I should look forward to converting. <laughs> Well, I've been meaning to get one of these drill doctor things. This is a 750X, which they say takes up to three quarter. And it also has an entry point here for uh, getting a split point. Um, first attempts weren't very promising. But since then, <clears throat> I'm getting more used to it. And one thing that's very apparent is that I, th I think these two drills are... Uh, these are nearly, not quite, not quite the same helix. Um, it's amazing, actually, when you look closely at drill bits, just how often the helix can change from being uh, very fast to very slow, just a turn and a half, and that makes quite a difference. So I'm, so I'm getting used to it. Um, Dale from uh, Metal, Metal Tips and Tricks was showing his the other day, and he's been quite pleased with it. And uh, when Terry was here today, he said he's got one, an old one, and I get the impression that once you've ground a drill on this machine that you can use it again to quickly touch up, whereas starting with one that's either damaged or bad takes quite a lot longer. I know some people can grind by hand perfectly. I'm not bad at it, but it's not good enough. So I'm trying this. Uh, I got a very good deal on eBay. The price wasn't even quoted directly, but you had to find out what it was and it was a very good discount with free shipping so pretty good whether in the long term it's going to do everything I want I'm not sure but uh, I like the principle of it we'll see how it gets uh, how it gets on over time there you go bits and pieces uh, I must try my radio mic again sometime it seemed to be working pretty good but I, I don't know maybe I don't trust it yet Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thanks to my subscribers. Great to have so many people watching the old bugger. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and we'll see you again soon, I hope. All right. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.